Good morning, Patriots. Did you know by law, at least in New York, that when hunting on your own property, you need to wear an orange vest? If I don't have posted signs every 50 foot around the perimeter of my property and someone wanders onto my property and mistakes me for a deer and something happens, they're probably going to be held liable to a certain extent, but not as serious as it could be because I didn't have on proper identification on my own property. Okay, it makes sense and it don't make sense, like a lot of stupid stuff. But let's get to the topic. De-dollarization of the United States. You know it's coming, or you should. It's been in the works since about 1971 when Tricky Dicky Nixon was told by Kissinger, who coincidentally trained Klaus Schwab of the W World Economic Forum, WEF, <laughs> that the U.S. dollar didn't need to be backed by anything tangible, a.k.a. gold, silver, other precious metals. <laughs> Nixon, for whatever reason, went for it. And the rest is history, as they say. But let's do a little history. How did the dollar become the preeminent, the prominent, the dominant currency in the world until now? Well, way back in the day... The United States convinced the Arab nations that if they only use the American dollar for oil, that the United States would protect them militarily. And throughout the course of history, recent history, any country who displayed even the slightest bit of independence and disobedience either had a regime change or a war started to decimate their economies and their infrastructure so that we could then go spend trillions to rebuild it, installing what we wanted them to do and message received by these little countries that dared go against the USA. Remember, I remember about 1989, 1990, the US dollar was worth 33 pesos. So you could go down to Mexico with a hundred bucks and you're good to go for a week. It was crazy. The same thing with the old loony up in Lunaticville, Canada. But now it is almost reversed. I am going to link a video I made a few months back called Project Sandman, where all the countries over in the desert were going to band together at some point in the very near future and we're going to say screw you USA we don't need you or your petrodollar because we've got the oil and you don't well we know we have plenty of oil we also know we're not allowed to drill for any of it thanks to the Democrats just Two short years ago, we were energy independent. 
Now, it very likely wasn't going to stop a crash of the dollar. That was due much, much more to horrific spending over the years. The military industrial complex, trillions upon trillions just disappearing before certain events. But we were going to be able to negotiate great prices across the world because people were going to be buying. We were a net exporter, okay? They call it the black gold for a reason. We also have just about the world's largest supply of natural gas. But all that's a moot point now because the cabal, the deep state, the Democrats... They have all banded together to facilitate the collapse of the American dollar. Why? (laughs) Because as we know, or you should, (laughs) as we speak, the head bank for the WEF and the central bank digital currency mark of the beast system is in Chicomdia land. As we know, they own Pedo and most of the Democrats and quite a few rhinos. So we also have BRICS, which is Britain, Russia, India, China, and South Africa. Now, Last count, 12 more nations have decided to join BRICS. That's all nations that used to get their oil from that have said, we don't need you. We're not going to use your dollar. What you want to do? Well, the The traitorous regime currently rushing the start of the intentional economic and societal collapse here in the U.S. is fully on board with this because I still think that a lot of these idiots have been promised seats Maybe the 10 areas in the U.S. that were going to be left, the 10 cesspool cities, they were probably promised governorships or something like that. And, uh, yeah, okay. (laughs) Tell me how that works out because I will still be alive. So the de-dollarization is in full speed ahead mode. I can hear something walking through the woods. <laughs> the neighbor does have dogs, but they usually are barking. I don't think that's them. Maybe it's Bigfoot. <laughs> anyway, what you're going to see coming, there's just a plan where one country is going to do a little 12-week experiment with a digital currency. They're also going to use the thing, passport. Everything is getting ramped up. There is a deep state, that there's no denying. And they realize that many people... Unfortunately, mostly across Europe and other nations have woke up while the lemmings, the masses with the M in parentheses, are still snoozing here because we feel the ill effects of everything after all the third world cesspool nations. But (laughs) have no fear. We are going to feel it. I was just pricing eggs yesterday, $1.30 a year ago. $7 yesterday. I don't have to buy eggs, but I don't have to buy meat. And we already know everything is poison that you buy in the store. Everything. 
which is probably why I don't buy anything. Anyway, again, the collapse of the dollar is just around the corner. These nations are doing everything they can. They're just getting everything into position. And then literally overnight, it will collapse. Do a little research on the Myomar Republic, where guys would buy a loaf of bread for 10 bucks in the morning and a wheelbarrow full of money wouldn't buy it the same afternoon. It'll be that fast for us. If you don't see it coming now, there's no help for you. Be prepared if you're going to succumb to the passports and the central bank, you're done. I'll survive out here as long as I can because I will not give in to the beast system. Nope, I won't be able to buy, sell, or trade on the market, that's for sure. Working on ways to do everything I need to to survive right now. That's all I got. Like, share, subscribe, comment, notification bell. But for now, JT, signing off.